This is Skibe Valley in southern Ethiopia. The people here depend on their cattle. Though prosperous, this valley was, and still is, infested with tsetse flies. Trypanosomosis is one of the major livestock and human problem in sub-Saharan Africa and transmitted by tsetse flies. And tsetse flies transmit the disease when they try to get their meals from human or livestock. Then the disease has no vaccine. And Gibe is one of the representatives of tsetse infested areas in, in Ethiopia as well as in Africa. And we have also typical uh, cattle breed in the country, which are mostly exposed to the same trypanosomosis. Malaria was also one of the problems, not allowing the people to settle in this valley. Farmers, they cannot survive if they cannot feed themselves well. They become more susceptible to malaria, so they cannot keep animals, they cannot grow uh, a crop, and they leave the area. This valley in 1986 when the project started was not habitated by people and this project started to look for ways to control the major livestock disease called trypanosomosis. And, and now the area where there was no people in this valley, there was no livestock, there are more than 20,000 households. And they are growing different crops here. Maize, sorghum, teeth, red pepper, oil seeds, sesame, groundnuts, wheat. And the livestock population is over 35,000, only cut. Trypanosomosis has a devastating effect on the cattle that catch it and the people who keep them. This animal was, was in our crush this morning and it was sampled and, and it, it is positive of trypanosomosis. So if you release, the animal will try to go to, go to for grazing. So if it goes there, the animal may not return because it's weak, it cannot follow the whole herd. So he doesn't want to lose the animal and he keeps it here. Yeah. It is not healthy, they don't, they don't use the meat. If it dies, it dies, finished. This emaciation could be the sign of other, other uh, uh, causes like uh, food, food shortage, uh, poor management or other diseases. So to be sure that this animal is really sick of trypanosomosis, there is a need to take the sample and check. And, and if it's oh. positive, then we can, stay, we can go for treatment. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of uh, means of controlling trypanosomiasis. One way is using resistant animals to the disease. Mm. Mm. The other way is to uh, kill the flies which transmit the trypanosomes or the disease. Another means of controlling is by using drugs. Trypanosomes actually affects uh, many, many types of uh, wild animals, including the warthogs, the pushbeak, except the buffalo. Because of the coexistence for long years of the flies and the wild animals, they serve as reservoirs for the disease. 
In the 1980s, Ilri researchers began by catching sets of flies to monitor populations in the valley. They used traps baited with chemical attractants that didn't kill but let the tsetses into a netting cage. So these flies are used for different purposes. To identify the species, to know the density of the flies, also to dissect flies and know whether they are the carrier of the, the parasite trypanosomes. <laughs> They also took blood samples from local cattle to check for trypanosomes and so determine disease levels. During this baseline data collection, we discovered that we have three species of sesaflies who transmit the disease, and we have three species of trypanosomes, the main agent of the disease. There is no one solution to control the trypanosomosis. Some of the technology we tested in this valley are animals treated with curative and prophylactic drugs and also traps and targets treated with insecticide. First of all, targets were used to clear flies from uninhabited forest areas so that new settlements could be built. We set in Gibe Valley about 500 targets and the fly population was reduced and the disease prevalence was also decreased. The problem with targets was that it's very difficult to manage. If they are damaged, to replace them, to respray, and to top up attractants. Attractants are chemicals used to lure flies so they can be caught or killed. And the targets are not sustainable because you have to put them in the forest where it is difficult for the committee to go and supervise them. When the flies that transmitted the trypanosomes were reduced in number and the disease was managed, more people moved to the area. New drug control methods were devised to protect livestock. The porons are insecticide and the flies will pick it up when they land on the animal to feed. More than 80% of the flies in Gibi are getting meal from cattle. So applying the poron on those animals means the chance of killing those flies is about 80%. To keep fly populations at a level that allows livestock to flourish, the poron has to be reapplied every one to six months. Reducing fly numbers through this insecticide treatment also benefits other livestock and wildlife. Poron insecticide helps us to control the trypanosomiasis and it helps us to control or to kill the transmissive vector that is the sesafly. The trypanosomiasis control largely depend on drugs which targets the parasites and the host organism. We use drugs alternatively so that the parasite has no chance to develop drug resistance. This combined treatment scheme managed levels of disease challenge in the valley. Tested poron technology reduced fly numbers and the curative injections regulated parasites within the livestock. And people heard of about the control of the disease and they came. The scheme's success soon meant that demand grew out of proportion. When we started the project, we are supposed to have a limited number of animals. Then when people know that the drug is working, the number of animals started increasing. It was an indication that the demand was very high and the technology is accepted by the community, but Illuri cannot provide the drug and the service forever. Funding for the Illuri project was about to end. Farmers who were already benefiting wanted desperately to keep the scheme going and those who hadn't joined yet were pushing to be included.
በዚያ ምክንያት ላይ እንዲሁም መዳህነቱ ህጋዊ ባልሆነ መዳህነት እየገዛን በገቢያ ላይ ማለት ነው እየተጠቀምንም ከህይወቱም ያልተረፈ ነበር Without a tradition of community organization access to vets or ways around Ethiopian laws that forbid anyone but vets to buy or apply drugs and lacking a network of contacts with government officials and other players the end of ill risk project meant that farmers faced the return of the disease the community was unable to finance the necessary networking to supply the funds an organization interested in rural development was found Comart is a private family company. Their interest is to invest on community development. Comart's financial support allowed a series of consultations to begin. Ilri organized different workshops with communities and drug suppliers, service providers and and other potential stakeholders to find the best solution to make sustainable this uh, delivery of veterinary service. The first step was to form the large numbers of farmers who were originally from many areas of the country into organized groups. We are uh, advising the Gibe farmers as well as the coordinator of the Ilri to uh, make uh, cooperative organizations. Selezi egid betasatfo liyagen yemifelgaw neger kallegen There are same problems when you are uh, organizing this cooperative because in 1970s cooperative organizations are mostly political but uh, now there are some improvement because the cooperative money the infrastructures all are controlled by the farmers and now they are believing on the organizing processes The next step was to bring together all the players who would be needed to run the co-op. Contacts with government vets were particularly important because of restrictive legislation. It was very difficult because in the Ministry of Agriculture rules and regulations individuals who have no knowledge how to handle the drug and apply the drug are not allowed to use the drugs. Without enough government vets to cover Gibe's growing population, community involvement under veterinary supervision was necessary. Policy changes in Ethiopian government that had led to decentralization increased legislative flexibility in local areas and so helped the process. There is now a shift of accepting having the community to handle and purchase the drug and let the Minister of Agriculture train those people and we can make our sustainable trips control sustainable oh ba gandim gandim betamelekete no mahaburu ni so muratu siluacho usun no bulo nen marta unyalle bezihu be selatankut meseret etamen lew demo mejemeria wede mahaburu letenya wede gibrinna mosdo masaltin unyal ke beshtenya un sesa wede tenenya un sesa mitastalalfo We train two or three farmers at every site to handle poron insecticide and uh, injecting uh, trypanosidal drugs, but not all the veterinary treatments. The growth of the community's voice and the new legal and political frameworks finally allowed plans to move forward. The training received by elected co-op members in drug use, animal health and cash management meant that drug retailers were happy to supply medicines to registered co-ops. Loan companies were willing to lend money and veterinary officers gave support. The necessary network of contacts was now in place and a series of trypanosomosis co-ops were formed, the first of their kind in the area.
ራስ የተመረመረ ደህነውን ተዋለው በሽታውን አቀርባለሁ አሉ ሲኖርም በዚህ ውስጥ ላይ ያልገቡ ሰዎች ሲኖርም እንግዲህ በጭገራ ኳያ سنመለከተው እኛ እነሱን እንዲመጡ እንዲገቡ እየገፋፋና አባላት ሙሉ አባላት ለሆኑ ሰዎች በአንድ ህንሳሳ በአንድ ነፍስ አራት ብር ለማርፍ አባላት ላልሆኑት አምስት ብር ያንድ ብር ልጅነት ነው እንግዲህ እንደተናጋቸው እንዴት ነው መከፈል መከፈሉ የሚታወቀው ያን ወስዶ ለወጊ ሰጣል ወጊ መከፈሉ ይታወቃል እርጥባት ዘረ ዳማና ከአየር ካሆነ ሁለቱም ይወስዳሉ ለምን ተዋጊ ነገር አለ እንሰሳዎችን ተዋጊ ነገር ስላለው ሁለቶችም ወስድ ይችላሉ እርጥባት ዘር በለለበት ጊዜ ድረቅ አየር በሆነበት ጊዜ መርፌውን ብቻ ይጣቀማል እሺ ማሃበሩ ስካሁን የከብቶቻችን ጤንነት እየተጠበቀ ነው ከዛም በላይ ደግሞ ገበሬው የሚያስፈልገው እዚህ አካባቢ ማዳበሪ ያስፈልገዋል ለወደፊት መዳኒት ይሄ ገንዘብ ይያደገ ሲሄድ በማዳበሪ ያልናሳድገው እንቻላለን በመዳኒት ያሳድግ ነው እንዳለ አንድ አንድ ትልም ቀይ ማሽ ላ እየዘራን የበላንበት ነፍሳችንና ልጆቻችን ያተረፍንበት ጊዜ አለ ካፍተ አልቆ ጥጃ አልቆ ፍየል አልቆ አህያ አልቆ ባዶጃችን ቀርተን ቤት ውስጥ እንኳን መለግለቃ ይበታተን ከገባ ላይ ሴቶቻችን በሻርብ ጠምደን ይያረስንበት ወልደው ወተቱን እየጠጣንበት ጊዜ درسና እና ስለዚህ አሁንም እኔ ያሳቢ ባጭሩ ለመግደስ ፈልጌ ነበር ዛሬም ደሞ ለወደፊት የሚያስፈልገውን ድጋፍ እናንተ ይሄን ሰርተንላችሁ አልብላችሁ እንዳትተውንና ድጋፍም እንድታድርጉል በደስታ ምክንያት ተሰባስበው ስለ ደስታቸው በጋራ እንዲካፈልላቸው ህብረተሰቡ ህብረተሰቡ ሊሰበስቡ ይችላሉ እንደዚሁም ችግሮቻቸው በሚኖርበት ጊዜ ችግሮቻቸው ለመፍታት እንደዚሁ በተለያየ መንገድ ተሰባስበው በችግሮቻቸው ዙሪያ ላይ ይነጋገራሉ ከተነጋገሩን በኋላ ወደ መፍቲያው ለመሄድ ደግሞ የተለያየ አቅጣጫዎች ሊከተሉ ይችላሉ ከኔ ጋር ናችሁ ሐሳባችን ወደዚህ ያርጉት እኛ ይልካን አሁን ባደራ መልክ ሲሄድ ቃጋዳን ያለው እንደ አደራ ነው እንጂ አሁን ምንሰራው በራሳችን ገንዘብ ነው እየሰራን ያለን ቀጣይም በዚህ ይልካ አደራ ታውን ያደረገልን ገንዘባችንን ባደራ ያስቀመጥነው እንጂ አሁን ገንዘብ ማስቀመጫም ቦታ የለን ለለለለት ግን ደግሞ ገንዘብ ወደ ወንዳይቀመጥ ደግሞ ለተ ለተ ምንቀሳቀስ ገንዘብ ስለሆነ አራ አታ ይሄን የምስክር ወረቀት ክልሉ ሰጥቶናል አሁን ይሄንን የምስክር ወረቀት ተቀብሎ ብቻ ተሰጥቶናል ብቻ ተብሎ መቀመጥ ሳይሆን ለዚህ ይሄንን ሰርተፊኬት የቦረር የገንዲ በሽታ መከላከያ መቆጣጣሪያ አብረ ስራ ማህበር ሊቀ መንበር አቶ ተሾመ ይቀበሉልናል ማለት ነው Important links with a range of officials and providers have now been made allowing previously unconnected groups to begin to understand each other's objectives and ways of working This is Gibe Valley's hope for the future <laughs>